What's up, Cause? Chat Town Sports, welcome, my friends. How are you guys doing today? Breaking cards, good to see you, man. Welcome. Hello. Hey, Super, how you doing? Starting to show up now. It's good to see you guys. Today we've got some uh, some stuff to break into. Not anything super amazing, but I do have some hits that I need to go through from yesterday. What's up, Truth? I am having an amazing day, man. Uh, woke up a little late. Started a little late. That's okay. Um, but I'll tell you what. I... Uh, you know, I, I celebrated last night, had a good celebration, I was excited about the polls, it was awesome to hang out with all you guys, um, I'm glad you were there for that, it was awesome, it was absolutely awesome. Alright Truth, yeah, uh, have fun, uh, or be safe, getting your kid to school, and uh, glad you are able to stop by for a little bit man, hope you're having an awesome day. Did I see the birthday video Funkin' sent to me? Did you guys show that last night? Because I went to bed a little bit earlier. I mean, I was tired. So I got off the Urban's chat fairly early. Before he actually broke and then I probably went to bed about halfway through it. <laughs> yeah, when you... Alright, cool, man. Be safe. So yeah, uh, yesterday we had some polls, my goodness. Did I have any awesome polls from Cosmic Eclipse? Is that what was asked? I heard, saw that one. Oh, any big money hits in Cosmic? Uh, no, not yet. In fact, I opened up one, what did I open up of Cosmic? One uh, Elite Trainer box. I have another one that I'm going to open today. So, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Jury's out on whether chat's having a great day. Good to see you, chat. Love when you show up. It's nice to have you, man. Stemmers, good to see you. Yeah, it does not sell as well as as Hidden Fates. And here's here's why, I believe. This is the largest set ever created by Pokemon. So it's it's very daunting to try and say I want to collect the whole set because it's massive. So, I don't know. Uh there's not very many cards that have a lot of value in it either. There's uh that's not true. When a set first comes out, there's quite a quite a bit uh yeah, I got a shirt on today. <laughs> um, when a set first comes out, you know, there's quite a bit of uh, hype around it, and and uh, the demand is pretty high because the supply is low. So you can sell a lot of them out of the gate right away. But there is a Charizard that's like 160 or something, uh, and then the top 20 cards have all been over 20 bucks for the last week or so, but they're going to be going down in the next week or two, so... Um, and they have been going down already, so we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Let's see what we have in here. Now I'm over it and taking a break. Smart chat. Smart chat town. That's, uh... Take any break you can. You're working for the man. Yeah, so this Cosmic Eclipse uh, is interesting. Once, I, once again, it's a huge set. Let me see if I can... So it's 236 cards in the normal set, and then there's a bunch of secret rares. What's going on, Deerman? Welcome. Uh, let's see... There's a cool one, a Charizard there. And breaking. I 
I'd like to get that card. This Blastoise. These Blastoises I'd like to get. That'd be cool. And then I think there's... Like, these are all character cards that you can get. I did pull one of these. I think I pulled this character card. Which turns out it's only worth like two bucks. What's going on, Arana boys? Welcome. Good to see ya. Uh, then there's this Charizard and Breaks, and that's the one I, I would really like to pull. So, if we can pull that Secret Rare or any of these Blastoise Secret Rares, that'd be awesome. Those are worth a little bit of money, so that's what we're hunting for. The money cards. I don't collect this set, uh, the whole set. I'm only collecting in the whole sets of, like, the side series, which is uh, Shining Legends. Um, what's the other one? Dragon Majesty and Hidden Fates collecting those whole sets but the other ones i'm just trying to get charizards out of maybe a blastoise i like blastoise he always sells well i pulled something on the last box i can't remember what i pulled did i really pull that blastoise huh i don't even remember what i pulled to be honest I've only opened one Hidden uh, hidden Fates Elite Trainer box. Oops. Let's move this stuff back. I did get a new Funko Pop. Wanted to show you guys. Get this out of the way real quick. Oh, yeah, the character card. Yeah. So, uh, there's that uh, Super Troopers I bought. It's Mac from Super Troopers. If you guys know that movie, I absolutely love it. Uh... I don't know why I like it so much, just it's extremely entertaining. That whole Broken Lizard crew is really, really funny. So I'm trying to get the whole, there's only three of them, but I pulled the Char Brex on TC Go. It's pretty beast. Nice. You've been playing TC Go? That's sweet. I haven't played that in a little while. Let's see what we got. We got some code cards here for you if you want. Can I get a liter of cola? That's right. No, I don't want any fries, Farva. I want a GD liter of cola. <laughs> Sveal, uh, Passimian. I should probably read these since it's a new set. Rowlet, Lillipup, Skrelp, Eevee, and Ultra Necrozma. Holo holographic. Yeah, the the whole series. I mean, at pretty much everything that Broken Lizard does is hilarious. If you haven't seen Club Dread, I'm going to do this pack art. Club Dread's hilarious. It's like a horror movie based on this like coast on a Costa Rican island that like a knockoff Jimmy Buffett buys. And he has all these employees that work there and people start dying. Um, it's just like a party island. People go there to get laid and party and Anyways, all the staff are the Broken Lizard crew, and it's hilarious. Great movie. They also did Beer Fest. If you've never seen that, that movie is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> and Super Troopers 2 is extremely funny, too. They made fun of themselves a lot by trying to throw in... How are you doing, Jason? Welcome. And Breaking Cards Network, are you... Uh, Breaking any of these Cosmic Eclipse? I think I saw you break some, but what's been your best pull so far? There we go. Nice. Look at that. Arceus and Dialga and Palkia. It's a tag team. Yeah. How you doing, Alex? Welcome. It's good to see you, man. Das Boot. <laughs> Beer Fest, man. That is such a funny movie. Uh, then they did another one called The Slammin' Salmon. If you've never seen The Slammin' Salmon, it's a movie about a restaurant in Miami. And this guy, Cleon Salmon, buys it, which uh, was that guy from the Green Mile. I can't remember his name. You guys remember that, that big uh, black guy from the Green Mile? What was his name? Anyways, he was in The Slammin' Salmon, and he played this like uh, ex-boxer who bought a, a restaurant. And, man, he was hilarious in that. Such a good movie. Gold Great Catcher. Okay. Cool. Awesome. I'll check it out, Breaking. That's sweet. Well, thanks for stepping in, Alex. I appreciate it. Little Pup. Jolteon. 
I've gotten the chat to work on my phone well, finally, so I'm uh, able to not have to look away all the time and kind of keep informed about the chat as I go along. I've noticed that's Alolan Sand Slash Reverse Hollow. I've noticed that's uh, one of the biggest bugaboos about live streaming is that uh, the host, uh, they've got to keep up with the chat. They want to keep things going. If you don't uh, respond or or uh, appropriately either, you know, you gotta got to actually tell who you're responding to so that they don't just believe you're spouting out responses to anyone. So I try to make it as specific as possible. Call out what it is or who it is that I'm responding to. So yeah, Cosmic Eclipse, they've gone back to this no, uh, this, this green and white card separation, which I never, I don't like. It just kind of ruins the mystique of it. Gloom, Fluet, Natu, uh, Trapinch, Sfeel, uh, Passimian, Rallet, there's a Ralts, Whale Lord. I like the Whale Lord cards. I've always liked them. Wish it was hollow, but that's cool. Four packs to go. Yeah, these Cosmic Eclipse ones only come with eight, too, so eight packs. Anyways, so this uh, restaurant in Miami that these guys are running, uh, one of them goes off and becomes a movie star. And Anyways, he has to come back and make money because uh, he gets fired from the show that he was on. Something super weird in your polls today. Awesome. So uh, he comes back and Cleon Salmon has made a bet with uh, the head of the Yakuza. That he can catch more Japanese. It's Japanese albino hunting is what they're into. <laughs> Anyways, there's a misunderstanding about dollars and yen. He thinks he's got to raise $20,000 in one night. So it's hilarious. So all the staff have to try and make his money for him. Seismitoad. It's kind of a cool card too. I don't ever remember him. Yeah, check the Slammin' Salmon out. It is good. And Super Troopers, too. I know a lot of people didn't like that. But I liked it a lot. I thought it was hilarious. Another code card that's green. Vaporeon. Tag call. See ya, Alex. Thanks for stopping in, man. Lillipup. Skrilp. Pikachu. That's kind of cool. I like that Pikachu. But it's a common in this set. Stuffle. Ponyard. Ponyard. That's got to be it. And Swassbuck. It's our reverse hollow. Rare is Swana. I've never seen that one either. Yeah, the first one was great. The second one probably isn't as good as the first. But you have to, like, remember, they really make fun of themselves. But if you... Uh, if you're Canadian, you should watch it because essentially how Super Troopers 2 goes is <laughs> there's this town in Vermont that they actually realized the border of Canada was drawn incorrectly. And so this Canadian town is going to get annexed into the United States. And these guys are called out of retirement to go and help annex uh, this territory, this area of Canada into the U.S. and do a transition. It is funny. The Brava, Proba, pa, Proba Pass, Probo Pass, Igly Buff, Golet, Dupider. Your mom is from Canada, huh? Helioptile, Helioptile. She would love it. They make uh, make fun of themselves quite a bit in there. They get a lot of Canadian actors. There's a character card. Sweet, Stoutland. That's, I really like these character cards, and you can get the character cards out of the green uh, non-hit packs, quote-unquote. So that kind of makes makes it a little cooler in Cosmic Eclipse. But I like that a lot. That's a cool one. Arf, arf, bark, bark. Good centering. I don't know what the value is on that at all, but or either of those cards. I'll have to check afterwards. But I like those character cards. All right, this one's going to be a hitter. 
Yeah, Urban would like Super Troopers too. A lot. Delmize, Mies, Chaotic Swell, Tropius, uh, Litleo. They're they're considered secret reverse hollows. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. No. Character cards are considered the rare of the pack. That must I didn't actually look at the back card of that character card one. Was yeah, I didn't I don't remember looking at the back card if it was rare or not. Now I don't remember where that card was in the sequence, so it, yeah, instead of, it was instead of the reverse rare, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't think they take the place of the rare. I think it was instead of the reverse hollow rare. That's a, yeah. I think that's what Breakin's talking about. Cause right, they have no bearing on the rare. They just have a bearing on the reverse hollow. Cause you won't get a reverse hollow out of that. Oh, this Swastbuck is a hollow. That was our hit. I forgot that was a hit pack. That's why they could be in a pack with a green card. Yeah, I think that's got to be the case. So that's... Okay, I see. So the it's called a reverse hollow secret rare, which is weird. I don't know why they call it reverse hollow. Because it's not the border that's hollow. It's the whole card. It's almost like a full art. But interesting, yeah. I'm, there's all... They put a new one into each set, like a new type of card that you have to learn the name of. So reverse hollow rare... Wait, is that what you said? Reverse Hollow Secret. That's what it is. Reverse Hollow Secret Rare. Man, that's cool. I like those cards. Those those uh, character cards are nice looking. And you always wonder, you know, because the EXs came out and the EXs were not... I didn't like the EX arts. I just thought they looked too phony or whatever. So you never know what direction they're going to go. But I've liked most of Sun and Moon. The GXs have been cool. And now these character cards are really cool. So I, I like that. How's it going, Tom T? So that wasn't bad. That was a good good little uh, box we had there. We only got one GX and one Secret, but uh, I like both of them. Those are really cool art cards. Yeah, you could just call it a character card, <laughs> which is fine. Cool. I'm going to sleeve those suckers up. I'll show you what I got in the box yesterday. So I opened one of these yesterday. If you weren't here for it, that's the Tag Team All-Stars booster box. And let me grab the hits, at least, from it. And here's what we pulled from the other Cosmic Eclipse box that we did. So yeah, I did pull that Galade and Salgaleo Sal and Luna. Salgaleo? I don't know how to say it. Uh, anyway, so I opened one of these. And you're guaranteed a GX in every pack, I guess, or better. Which is awesome. Yeah, man, they're not difficult to get. I just went on eBay and found a uh, Japanese seller that had a really, really good, uh, history. You know, if he's got a thousand sales and a hundred percent positive feedback, then I'm pretty confident he's going to get me what I'm asking for. So, uh, anyways, that's what I did. Just went on there and bought a couple. So anyways, we pulled some cool ones. And then I realized last night, I think after we streamed, uh, let's see, I pulled a couple of really good ones out. Where did I put those? Oh, here they are. So there's a prism star that we got out of it. A black bordered prism star, which is kind of cool. Those cards haven't been much in sun and moon. So it's nice that they brought them back here. Uh, then I pulled this Reshram and Charizard, which I have in English version, which is PSA 10. And then this Jirachi was a full art. I didn't realize. So yeah, that's a full art Jirachi, but there is a print line you can see kind of right there. There's a print line. Not terrible. There's great centering on the card and everything else, but that print line's definitely 
an issue. ABCs need one, two, three. Welcome. Chat Town, yes, this is the box from Japan, or two of them that I uh, got. And you can get a god pack out of one of these boxes. I think it's like one in every like thousand packs or something, so it's almost impossible to pull. However, that god pack has all secret rares are better, which is pretty cool. So I'm saving that one because I already opened one and I wanted to save one from Japan. Uh, so I won't be opening that one. Yeah, the secret rare energy cards, I uh, have them over in the box. You want to see them? I'll bring them out. I don't know if these are considered secret rare. Big value in all these. Hmm. Well, I'll have to sleeve them all and check the value. I really didn't go and check any of the Japanese values. But all of these are the secret rare hollows. Or secret rare energies. I'm assuming. Where's my... Oh, there Interesting. All right, so those were uh, some of our pulls from Pokemon, some of the new boxes. Let's move over to baseball. Show you some of the pulls from yesterday because it was quite the day. <laughs> Holy cow. It was so fun. I, I opened a box of Jumbo Update. It's the last box of Update that I'm opening, and actually today I'm going to be going through... And putting them into my binder, probably here at the end of the show, while we wrap things up and just kind of chat. So, uh, the pulls from yesterday. See you, Super. Thanks for stopping in, man. Appreciate it. It's always nice to see you, my friend. So, uh, ABC's. Oh, Cause just asking when's it, when your next auction is. Okay. Every Thursday, yeah. Check out ABC's uh, auction Thursdays. Definitely worth getting into. All right, here's Pedro Vila, uh, autographed rookie card. That was on card, which is pretty cool. 1984 Tops design, which is sweet. Not numbered, but that's all right. These we didn't pull yesterday, but I did get them back from tops and i'm sending them in to get graded for my mom and then she wants me to sell them she pulled both of these in the tops or in the uh bowman sterling break that we had i couldn't believe it i couldn't believe there were two redemptions in there one numbered one not but both on card autos so man i don't know how much they're gonna sell for but uh i'm gonna get them graded and see if uh she can make a little cheddar she said she'd give me 10 percent of the sale so who knows? It's like 30 bucks, maybe. It's not bad. All right. There's a Fernando Tatis Jr. that we pulled. Shaboygan. Super cool. Love this card. Especially because it's numbered to five. I lost it when I pulled this yesterday. It was just so cool. Then I went ahead and sleeved this butt or this guy to get uh, to get graded. So I put them in my card saver four. However, after I did that, I noticed some damage on the card, which I don't ever remember dinking the card anywhere. So if you look at the back, right here at the top, I wonder if this will work on the camera. Probably not. Oh, maybe. Right there, you can see kind of, eh, it doesn't really work, but there's, there's definite damage. And it's a nick on the card and that corner. So I don't know how many of these there are out there. Probably quite a few. Um, but the rest of the card is pristine. So I still think that edge wear might give it a 9. Uh, but it, that'd be kind of cool. I'd like to see how they slab it. And that's why I'm sending it in. So regardless of whether it comes back in perfect condition, I want to do this as a test run. So El Kamam! Let me properly greet you, my mother. Nice to have you here today. Thank you so much for showing up. Let's see, I'm getting calls. This is weird. Okay. Uh, then I'm sending this one in 
This is number to 10. This was not one we pulled yesterday either, but I wanted to put it into my new submission. This is one I pulled uh, at that card shop, if you recall, several weeks ago. So that was uh, pretty sweet. The pulls we had from yesterday, a lot of fun that box was. Can't top it today, but we're going to try. We're going to open this sucker. We're going to open this sucker. I kind of doubt we're going to hit anything good, but that's what you expect out of a $5 box. But this one, 22, you expect a little bit better, so hopefully we'll get something. Yeah, it was a very nice card. Very nice. I was pumped to pull that thing. I should be putting some of these. Let me put it up on the stand. It's become one of my new favorite cards. Very quickly. I'll put my Pete Alonzo over here. Cover up McMahon for a little while. All right, let's see what's in this sucker. Hopefully I can pull another nice hit. Now I've pulled a couple of those uh, patches. Yeah, I'm gonna rip the $5 box. So I'll rip it right after this one. Or do you want me to rip it first? Here is my, my uh, set of holiday 2019 so far. These are the patches I pulled. I need to sleeve these, but. Yeah, I'll just open. I've already started this holiday, so we'll get into it. But uh, yeah, I need to sleeve those guys. We'll see. I haven't pulled one of those uh, Santa ones yet. I saw Funkin' pull one. That was pretty cool. Um, so I was going to try and buy it off of him or trade for it. But I'm. I have quite a few boxes of this. I have. Six more, I think, plus six of the 2018 holidays. So when I say quite a few, I mean comparatively. I'm sure there's other people that have tons. But I'd like to pull one of those. So we'll see if we can get one of those nice, uh, those nice patches that have like the uh, Santa hat or beard or whatever it is. Pull the Santa relic out of 25. Nice. Is this the second year of holiday? I don't know. Uh, I just started collecting again this year. Um, so I went back and got what Walmart had as far as 2018 holiday boxes. I don't ever remember seeing any holiday cards from years before that. I think that was the first year they started, but I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Gary Sanchez, right hand. We have Chris Sale. Congratulations, first pack. It's actually not the first pack, it's the last. And it's not the one we were hoping for. It's not the Santa one. I always forget that it most of the time it's in the last pack, and that's the one I pulled. I've only seen it not be in the last pack once, by the way, um, in 2019 holiday. So there's a Trey Turner for the Washington Nationals. Snagged eight boxes of holiday at my Walmart. I hope they restock mine because I've already... Uh, Snagged all the boxes they had. Uh, Incarnacion. Trey Turner. Billy Hamilton. And Miguel Sano. Well, this box feels a little moot now. I think that you, you got to wonder if Tops. I mean, they are obviously seeing an uptick in the market from breaks and break sites. And they're, they're probably trying to promote that a little bit. You know, they're seeing a lot of this stuff opened, and they're putting the hit card in the very last pack to help build suspense or whatever. But it's more predictable in these boxes than it has been for a while. And I wonder if that's by design. Cairo Estrada, Freddie Freeman, Nicky Lopez, Lorenzo Kane, Taylor Clark. Is that our first rookie card, or did I'm sure I missed a couple? There's a John Duplantier. I always like saying his name. Pedro Vila, Dietrich, Juan Soto gold card, and Ozzy Albies. Enough with the horizontal cards. Yeah, I wonder what the Santa Relic is. That's a good question. 
What does the Santa Relic look like? And is it like actually Santa or is it a player wearing a Santos or a Santa suit? Sleeve the Soto says. I'll put the Soto aside for now. We'll sleeve it later. But, you know, I highly doubt that Soto it may, may have a little value on the open market. Austin Meadows. There is one. That's going to be our short print. Carter Kibium. Santa Hat. Carter Kibum. Cool. Oh, yeah. My makeup does. It's on point, isn't it? I learned from all those ladies last night how to get the makeup done right. Yours is a piece of wood. Talking about your relic? Interesting. There's a different bats down. There's different bat down Acuna cards. Yeah. This one is the gold cup variation, so it's never going to be the short print if they have the gold cup on there. I don't think. I don't think they make gold cup short prints, but I could be wrong. Vladimir Guerrero. Charlie Blackman. I actually don't know about that. I, yeah, I, I could be completely wrong. That's speculation. Max Scherzer and Nunez and Nato. Have we really not pulled a metallic yet? I'm like trying to feel the cards. <laughs> a little surprised by that. We haven't pulled a metallic. Oh yeah, we did. It was the John Duplantier. That was our metallic. First one anyways. Put that aside because we're going to sleeve it. Just like our key boom. I didn't learn any makeup tips last night from that channel. That was, it was just them uh, chatting about stuff that, you know, I, it's like they all have a little crew, a click, and I had, uh, I had jumped in and felt very out of place. It was an entertaining stream. Oh, that was a Christian Yelich, sweet. That's a Christian Yelich metallic. You know, it's hard to see the metallic through the camera for some reason. Cool. Going our metallic pile. I always like pulling a Christian Yelich. Hunter Renfro. Brian Presley. Corey Seeger. Jose Abreu. Is it about one short print per box? Is that uh, what we're seeing on average, or is it more than that? I think I pulled two. in one box once, but we'll see. Anthony Rizzo is a Nate Lowe. Six boxes of 2019 holiday and two of 2018 holiday. Nice. I did not learn how to shadow my eyes. I wish I learned some kind of... I was married to somebody that was like the makeup queen. She had her own YouTube channel for makeup. So I've paid my dues on the makeup front. Jose Altuve, that looks like it's going to be a short print. It is. He's got candy canes coming out of his back pocket. <laughs> That's cool. One to three per box. So, yeah, there's two in this box so far, and we still got quite a few packs to go, so he may pull another one. I remember one time we went to this, like, makeup store. It was Pablo Sandoval. And I, I guarantee you that's got to be airbrushed somehow or, or uh, uh, photoshopped because there's no way that guy has ever gotten off the ground that high. No way. <laughs> he is more athletic than people think, but no way you jump that eye. Santa throwing a baseball and a piece of suit or hat as the relic. That's kind of cool. So it's actually Santa. It's not like a player wearing a Santa suit or something. It's actually a Santa card. Yeah, that's neat. Two to three a box. Yeah. yeah. I think two is what I've been seeing. Uh, I think I've pulled two a few times now that I think about it. It's the... <clears throat> I had a much harder time pulling short prints out of update than I have out of this. Tyler O'Neill, Chris Davis... Ryan Harper, Nola... 
Hunter Pence and Jorge Soler. 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 I think it's Soler. Be off the sock salary books this year, you think so? <laughs> Just in smoke. Shohei Otani san. Put him over there, Giancarlo. We found the Santa relic. All right. Max Kepler. JD Hammer. Nice. Look at this. Anthony Rizzo. We're going to have another short print. Wearing a scarf. Cool. We got three short prints already out of this. I'll take that. And Anthony Rizzo to boot. The guy's good. I mean, he's a good first baseman. The dude can stretch like nobody's business. Make those short hop catches. Very tough to make. Just good. And he can hit. Sweet. I know, that's three. Hopefully we can get another one. That'd be cool. I'd love to get four out of this box. What is the best 2019 baseball hobby box for hits? Causes wasting money asks. I mean, you know, you spend a lot of money, cause, on a hobby box. You can buy a National Treasures. You're only going to get, like, five cards out of it or something like that, but you're guaranteed some awesome hits. The more money you put up, the more you're going to be guaranteed a big hit, but give me a price range and I can help you out. Peralta, JT Realmuto. There's Trent Thornton. That's going to be our metallic. Put that in our metallic pile. Yeah, you're looking for autographs, patch autos. Um, what kind of hits? There's that Santa Claus suit relic if you guys want to check it out. There's a Will Smith rookie. That's a good one. I like that. And Mookie. I don't know why Mookie cards don't sell for more. I mean, the dude had like the second best war this season. Diamond icons. Luis Castillo. Tommy LaStella. Alex Bregman. Cole Tucker, J.D. Martinez, it was weird, it had a, like a little texture on it, Jose Barrios that I think was stuck from something else, uh, Spencer Turnbill, Austin Allen, Tim Beckham, last pack, cheapest set for decent hits, 60 bucks or less. Oh boy, 60 bucks. Well, this is a good set because you can get some decent hits out of this for pretty cheap. Um, you know, this is only $22. And you're able to get some nice autos and nice patches. Colton Wong, there's a nice one. You know, a few people PCing him. There's a Pete Alonzo rookie. Very nice. Alonzo. And there's Yasiel Puig. That's going to be our metallic. Yeah, it's getting a hobby box is going to be really tough uh, for that for sure. Hobby boxes, just the general rule of thumb is you're looking about a hundred dollars minimum. Maybe you can get some for eighty or ninety, but uh, if you really want to get some some good hits uh, for that price range, then I'd switch over to Pokemon. <laughs> because in Pokemon, you can go and buy a Hidden Fates. Uh, elite trainer box like I just did and pull a Charizard. I didn't pull a Charizard myself, but and the Keston Hira too. Man, we got some good rookies out of this one. Yeah, the Bowman Platinum you can get at Walmart for 80 bucks, and I think you're guaranteed an auto in there. Um, if you go look through Walmart and just check some of their boxes, uh, there's like the Bowman Platinum, I believe. Bowman Platinum is only $40, and I, you're going to get a guaranteed hit out of it, a guaranteed auto. Um, so there's a few, few of those, uh, mega boxes that you can get at Walmart and Target that will get you guaranteed hits in them. Um, you can also get Topps Chrome mega boxes, 
but you're not guaranteed anything in the tops chrome other than like i think a patch card maybe um you can get autos out of them though so that is possible and it's tops chrome it's a good set i like tops chrome a lot this over with our trey turner all right i'm gonna start putting these in my box here isaac como estas mi amigo Told the bang. Barely any cards at Walmart, huh? Oof. I hear this a lot from people on here, and it's just unfortunate because I am a, like, like my Walmart is just loaded. And it's just unfortunate to hear when you guys are like, oh, our Walmart sucks. I'm like, oh, man, that bites. My Walmart is loaded all the time, it seems like. And the only reason why it's not ever is because I'm the one who buys everything. So, then I have to wait until everything comes back in the stock. I go buy everything again. I love when Isaac shows up. It's always fun to have my Tijuana, Tijuana brother. Tijuana. I think they're running drugs in Tijuana. Something up with those essays across the street. You ever seen uh, Next Friday? Day Day. Miss Kim. Ho Kim. She goes, hey, Day Day. There's something up with those essays across the street. I think they're running drugs in Tijuana. It's like a Korean lady. It's hilarious. I love that movie. I used to watch that like once a week in high school for some reason. Nothing to see here. Tijuana is drug free. Tijuana has been drug free for many years, according to the mayor of Tijuana. I'm not sure what to do with these patches that I get from this because. Is a 2018 Bowman Baseball 24 pack box for $49.95 a good deal? Is it sealed? Twenty eighteen Bowman Baseball? I mean the uh, the Acuna. I don't know if they're in the 2018 Bowman if he has a, a card, but it's certainly not worth what the one from Tops is. So I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to do a little research on that. Depends on how much the Acuna is in it. That that really what it is what it comes down to. Maybe Soto might be worth something too. For sure would be. So I'd have to look at the checklist. Thank you, Chat Town. Hopefully I get some fire out of this, too. I'm only busting this pack from Walgreens, Fairfield. I know people are always like, oh, Fairfield. It's funny It's that people have such strong opinions about it. It's like, how can you have such strong opinions about a box that costs $5? Come on. Say Hong Kong's a dangerous place for your money? Or... <laughs> Or Tijuana, because I would I would agree with both of those statements. Valverde, Cordero, and Hoffman. All this rage about Hoffman. Mike Heath, Ed Wetson. Awesome. Thanks, Chat Town, for stopping by. I appreciate it, man. We'll see you later. Um, Odebe McDowell, Schwan Dunstan, Rick Leach, Kevin Elster, Ellis Burks. Nice. I like Ellis Burks. Used to play for the Rockies. Jim Key, Frank Tannen. Tannen? I don't know who that is, actually. Spent thirteen hundred on one night on his birthday in Hong Kong, Tijuana, or Vegas, because <laughs> that sounds like an easy thing to do in all three of those places. Another Ellis Burks, 
90 exclusive. Dan Plesek. Should probably try and sort these by set, but that's just going to be too tough to do right now. Dave Stewart. Manny Trio. Trillo. Oh, yeah. You know, you don't want to be in parts of uh, St. Louis. I, <laughs> I have a funny story about that. I was trying to date this girl. She, uh... She uh, had a brother who was really into baseball. <clears throat> we actually were on the baseball team together in high school, and we went to uh, we went to uh, St. Louis to kind of meet in the middle and hang out. It was during the Final Four several years ago. This was back during college. So we drove to St. Louis in her brother's pink Lincoln Continental. <laughs> pink Lincoln. It was like a old Mary Kay car or something that he picked up. And we took a wrong turn in East St. Louis, and we ended up in the hood. I mean, like hopscotch and beer 40s in uh, paper bags. And uh, they were not happy that us white boys were there, I'll tell you that. There's Don Baylor. More Moreno. And they were, uh, they were pretty ready for us to get out of there. Whoa, I just saw an auto. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Brian Fisher, Phil Necro, pitcher, Rich Bordy, Bob Ojeda, and then there we go. Chris Flexen. Never even heard of the guy. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Chris Flexen? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I've never pulled an auto out of one of these $5 boxes, though. That's pretty funny. Chris Flexen autograph. It's not numbered or anything, but... Oh. I've honestly never heard of the guy. I don't know if you guys ever have, but Chris Flexen. <laughs> Urban, good to see you, man. Welcome. And Big Harv. Welcome, Big Harv. And baseball demos. I've missed a few people since uh, I've been going through this pack. Let's finish off what I had there. Wet one. Oh, my goodness. Dwayne Howard, or Hard, Dwayne Ward, sorry, Al Azuna, Milt Thompson, Jason Thompson, and Bob Boone. It's a very nice shirt, isn't it? <laughs> Don't want to be shirtless anymore for live streams. I didn't mind it. It was, uh, it was a fun live stream. Dave Winfield, another Dave Winfield. Here we go, Mike Grace. You know, I think years ago that kind of stuff would have bothered me, but these days I don't, you know, I'm pretty confident in who I am, so happy. Barry Bonds, love that. Yeah, this is Fairfield. Fairfield. That's right, it was a total flex. <laughs> I was just so pumped, and I'm still pulling hot on everything. It was a $5 Fairfield box, and I pulled out an autograph. Don't see that very often. Obviously, it's a guy that we've never heard of. Miglio Ordonez. I'll bet you that I have a pretty decent accent. I have to ask Isaac when I pronounce some of these names. I'm bet I'll bet I'm getting those Spanish names right. Huh? Who knows? Gary Carter. Nice. Oops. Clint Hurdle, nice. Used to be the manager of the Rockies. Pat Sheridan. Mike Paglarulu. Pagro huh. Interesting. Don't know that name. Pagliarulu? I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Hey, it's saying I can't get my money until you receive the package. Can't get the money until you receive the package. What? Really? I've never heard of that before. Tony Gwynn. Look at that. Nice. Love Tony Gwynn. Cecil Fielder. Dave Gallagher. Modern Hall of Fame Veterans Committee. I mean, what are my thoughts on it? If they don't vote in Larry Walker, my thoughts are negative. 
This is Larry Walker's last chance to get into the Hall of Fame, and I think he deserves it. Put him in. Put the man in. There's Conseco in the 88 World Series. Pull that one out. Fred McGriff. Nice. I have a bunch of Fred McGiff cards. McGriff cards. Blackson attended Newark Memorial High School in Newark, California, where he was a quarterback of the school's football team, made a varsity baseball team as a freshman. I see. All right. Thanks, Cause. Fairfield is such false advertising. <laughs> I know a lot of people feel that way. Feel, and what do you say? I have to scroll back up to see it. Feel you on East St. Louis, ended up in the White Castle in East St. Louis and got some interesting looks. Yeah, not a fun place to be. Um, back to to what Cause was saying. This Flaxen kid, he was lured away from his commitment by a $375,000 signing bonus. Oh. Uh, I think it's because you sent through business and I haven't sold that way before and I usually use friends and family. Well, I, I know, but friends and family would give you the fee instead of me and I didn't want to do that. I don't, because I think that's how it works. Or is it the opposite way? I was trying to, to put the fee on my shoulders. So. I think Mattingly for sure, Evans maybe. Walker didn't make the ballot? What? That, I can't believe that. What about McGriff and Whitaker? Madeline has the nickname Donnie Baseball for a reason. He has to be in the Hall of Fame. I would be shocked if Mattingly didn't get in. For sure. But we'll see. It is, there is another Rick Leach. John Danks. Brandon Allen. Yeah, non-steroid home runs. That's going to have a lot of weight in the modern baseball because they're not voting in people with steroids uh, or admitted steroid issues uh, very easily. I'll tell you that. Yeah, Jeter, Sheffield, Sosa. It's a veteran's ballot. I don't know. I'd have to look in. I honestly don't know how that uh, veterans and uh, ballot works, so. Is that voted on by the other veterans? I don't think so, so we'll get in either, honestly. Larry Anderson, Tom Hare, Vince Law, Shane Raleigh. I was hoping we'd pull a Donnie baseball out of this, but don't see any. Doyle Alexander, Chad Kruder, Kruder. Gene Michael, Jeff Treadwell, there's a Gary Sheffield. Nice. Wally Whitehurst, Jose de Jesus, Eric Anthony, Don Carmen, Gary Redis, John Butcher, Dan Keeker, Kiker, and Kent Harbeck. So you need 12 of 16 votes, huh? Well, I'm sorry, Coops. I'll I'll figure it out and make it right. I don't. I, I didn't know that was the case with PayPal, so I don't. I was just trying to send you the money, man. Yeah, sub each other, each other up if you guys haven't. Check e each other's channels out. That's gonna be uh, basically the content I have for today that I wanted to get through. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. I have two more packs that I want to open. Sorry. These are packs are from Urban. He's still on the regular ballot, and that lasts for 10 years, Big Harv, and then he can go to the veterans ballot? Is that what happens? I see. Okay. We'll do that, Coops. Sorry. Wish you would have gotten a Rusty Kuntz auto. I think that's that's how we're going to pronounce it from now on. That's helpful ways to save on eBay purchases.
I have uh, switched over to ShipStation, by the way. If you guys have ever used ShipStation, it links with my online store. Makes the shipping so much easier. Um, I don't want to be doing uh, sales via PayPal anymore because the shipping is actually very difficult through PayPal. It's not too difficult. It's just that I have to transfer that uh, address data over into ShipStation. Station. It doesn't populate automatically for me. And uh, it's just a, a whole pain. So I think Larry will get in. So that's why I was surprised. I, but then I, I realized he's talking about the veterans ballot. So um, I think they have to do 10 years on the, the normal ballot and then go Upper vote, modern baseball, 1970 to 1987. Dwight Evans, Steve Garvey, Don Mattingly, Marvin Miller, Tommy John, Thurman Munson, Dale Murphy, Dave Parker, Ted Simmons, and Lou Whitaker. That's the list, huh? We'll see. Yeah, I went to Pirate Ship and tried them too, but see, Pirate Ship doesn't have as many integrations as ShipStation does, and ShipStation populated from my Wix site, like, automatically, and if I ship it through there, it, it's awesome. Plus, they connect with USPS directly, and I get the, well, I have the little scale, so it just uploads that immediately, the, the weight on it, and it ships for so much cheaper. Oh, so much cheaper. Boxes that were $7, $8 a box, I'm now shipping for 3 bucks under three bucks sometimes so that shipping was killing me and this is this is very very helpful yeah pirate ship i i have shipped one item with pirate ship and i do have an account with them but i'm not as uh excited about them because they don't integrate with the the wick store be cool Pi that uh ship station has like probably 150 or something no nah, maybe not that many maybe 60 integrations i think i only saw about 15 with pirate ship so so urban i wanted to open these packs that he sent me these are 91 jumbo packs 91 edition Let's see what we can get out of them yeah i think walker is gonna get in he deserves it deservedly so, so. the problem is is they have this this uh bias against people that played in Colorado. Luckily, he played elsewhere as well, but there's definitely a, a Colorado bias when it comes to... And here's what I don't get. Here's what I don't get. If the MLB put us in as a team, allows us to be a team, but won't put any of our players in the Hall of Fame then why did they allow us to be a team in the first place? If it's true that we have an unfair advantage in Colorado, then why did you even let us be a team? Because we're never going to get somebody into the Hall of Fame with that kind of an attitude. It's almost like a steroids asterisk, you know? Oh, you played in Colorado. Well, that's basically being juiced. Come on. Only 31% of his at-bats are in Colorado, and that's probably why he's going to get in, is because they see that as, they see Colorado as a negative. But, who knows. Larry did rake everywhere. They did us dirty with Baines. Debatable. 31% <laughs> of his bats in Colorado. Look, it's just, it's not an unfair advantage. Every team that comes in gets the same advantage as us. They can hit the ball just as far. In fact, it's probably more of a negative because it's not like it affects the offense a ton. In fact, it hurts pitchers more than anything. So it, it helps offense on both teams. And pitching is tough there. So we're, we're actually – the reason why there's so much offense there, it's not just us. It's both teams in, in, uh, in Colorado that are playing. Red Sox players shouldn't get in. Yeah, Arenado's the first player besides... I thought Tulowitzki had a good chance when he first came to the Rockies, first came up with us, because he was... You know, he's good. Tulo was really good. But uh, he had been plagued by injuries, and it didn't work out. I'm going to do the Urban 
cut here. Arenado, if he keeps up this pace, he's the first third baseman to win a gold glove in all, like every season that he's been in the majors. He has not lost a gold glove, or he's won a gold glove every year he's been a player, which is amazing. Cool, I like that Giants card. Ryan Sandberg. Fred McGriff. Nice. Cool, my Fred McGriff pile. Darren Lewis. Urban cuts with scissors, that's right. <laughs> the Rockies do have a good team. I mean, really, Tool almost hit me with a bat and let go off a single <laughs> in single A ball. Was that in uh, in single A? Was that in Asheville, North Carolina? Because I, uh, I had season tickets to them the year I lived there. I lived in Asheville and I was an algebra teacher for a year in Asheville, North Carolina. Kurt Gibson, nice. Go my nice stars pile. Robinson. Jose De Leon. Luis. Oops, that's the wrong pile. Silver Slugger insert. Only in jumbos, huh? Arenado's also won, I think, three platinum gloves. Check out what a platinum glove is if you don't know. Which means you're the best defensive player uh, in the game, basically. It's like the best of the best of the gold glovers. Deion Sanders. Nice. I like that Sanders card. Barry Bonds. Very nice. I like that card, too. Jack Doherty, Danny Jackson. Neil Heaton, John Smiley. Luis Gonzalez. Rob Deere. Gary Ward. Yeah, Chapman won gold glove this year. Chapman is is legit, but yeah, I mean, come on, Arenado's the. Not only is he the best third baseman in the game right now, I think he's the best third baseman to ever play the game. Now I've watched a lot of of uh, good third basemen over the years, you know, a lot of good ones. Every year that he's played, man, it's crazy. Fielding Bible Award. <laughs> there is a there is a platinum glove award, so I don't know what you're talking about. I've never heard of that. But he, if there is a Bible, so the Silver Slugger. These are the only uh, only in 91 jumbo packs, huh? It is. I, I agree. It's hard to beat Mike Schmidt. Yeah. Cal Ripken. I mean, come on. So was there any other silver slugger that I pulled? Hmm. Didn't see one. But that's cool. Ricky Henderson. Domingo Ramos. Top prospect of 91. Brooke Fordyce. Danny Darwin. Mike Stanton. Which, if you guys don't know, this is a close relative of Giancarlo Stanton. I'm just playing. I'm sure they're not related at all. Sean Abner. The third baseman led the majors in extra base hits this year. Who am I? In extra base hits? Ooh, I don't know. I, it's either uh, oh, Machado. I doubt it's Machado. Could be Rendon. Yeah, that's a good good guess. Bregman, yeah, that's a good guess too. Bregman. 
Nope, nope, not Bregman, huh? Arenado? Could be Arenado, but I, I doubt it. Even though he had a good season. Willis McGee and John Ceruti. Paul F Ferries? That's awesome. Dave Stewart, Steve Finley. You can tell how many old packs I've opened. It's been a long time since I really opened these. Craig Lefters, Eric King, Chuck Krim. Causes wasting money wants a wrench. Joe Carter. Devers. There we go. Yeah, Rafael Devers. That's a pretty good guess, and obviously it was right. Sweet. Yeah, Rafael Devers. He's a player. No Yankees got a gold glove. That's because all they care about on the East Coast is hitters. That's why they have the DH spot. It's absolutely ridiculous. See ya, Isaac. Have a good one, man. Thanks for stopping by. Stay safe in Tijuana. I know you will. You know how to, you navigate that place well. Well, cool. So the two that I got, the two... Our division rivals, the Dodgers and the Giants. So that's awesome. Division rivals. I don't know why you associated him with third base either. <laughs> I don't know why you don't associate him, sorry. <clears throat> I don't know. It's probably just because Arenado is, you know, he's legit and has, has kind of made a lot of the fielding look like routine, and it's not. It, that's what I think is so crazy about him. And so he's stolen a lot of the limelight from third baseman, but so have Chat, has Chapman. Um, and what's his face there in in uh, Los Angeles? Yeah, and a lot of it comes about, like, comes from who's being talked about. I mean, the media has a an opportunity or a, the ability to kind of, you know, switch or or lead you in a certain direction. ESPN especially, you know, those guys will get on there and they'll talk about you know players that they care about or whatever, and other good players can go under the radar and get lost in the shuffle, which is unfortunate, but that happens all too often. You, all, you always got to talk to the people who know that team, who, who local there, who watch the team a lot, or the local reporters that know the team well. And then you, you can really start to get a clue of who's who's solid and who's not. But be wary of the national news reporting. You know, they have a tendency to just report on what they're interested in, and it can, I don't know, it can be kind of negative. No, Canadian, I'm not. Feeling very good today. Let me see the Tatis and the shiny Charizard next to each other. That's good. That's a good call. I can't show you the shiny Charizard. Sorry, it's sent into PSA, so. It's gone. Boston didn't have a good season. They forgot about, and they get forgot about by the national media. Yeah, well, I mean, that's going to happen with Boston because New York will trump them a lot. Um... The national media is always focused on Judge and the, you know Stanton, the big guys, uh, and the New York teams. And so, if Boston isn't playing well or or uh, not competitive against the Yankees, they're going to get lost in the shuffle. Happens a lot. Let's see. Once his clock Bogarts, once his clockwork improves, he's top tier with Nolan. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if that happens or not. You know, the, there's a lot of players out there that could tweak a little here and there and and get there, but it's, I'll tell you what, it's tough. Japheth, I think that's how we say it, right? Japheth Leal. Just a quick visit, still sorting because I've had many shifts at work, but I'll send you Rockies and Broncos cards soon enough. Japheth, you really don't need to do that, man. I appreciate it. It's super nice of you, but you really don't need to. Um, but once again, thank you for, for being so kind and, and willing to do that. Um, uh, yeah, when it gets back, I'll show you Coop's card. That whole PSA submission was pretty big. I had quite a few cards in it. 
a lot of Pokemon, a lot of autographs, and a lot of just regular base cards and numbered cards. So, Urban says Jaffa, the past is alive. Hey, how you doing, John? Welcome. It's good to see you, my friend. I am doing well. We've just opened uh, some packs here. We opened a few 91 jumbo packs, and then uh, opened our our uh, like a Fairfield box, as well as a 2019 holiday box, just for fun today. Just opened stuff up for me. And yesterday, I opened up a Topps Jumbo, by the way, and check what I pulled out of that sucker. So I think I super chatted it at you last night, John, but I pulled this uh, Fernando Tatis 84 design, number two, five out of update. So, no, not really any out of the 91. We didn't get any good rookies, unfortunately. Only two, two packs of it, of the Jumbo, but it's fun to open 91. I haven't opened it in years, so that's that's why it was kind of neat. Fun to open. Uh, let's see. Small markets are even worse. How much do people hear about Tampa Bay and they were a playoff team? I'll tell you, Tampa was legit this year, and people did overlook them, which was unfortunate because they, man, they were on fire. The Rockies opened our season against Tampa in Florida, and they just looked legit. I mean, they beat the pants out of us. It was unfortunate. Fantatis card. Very nice. That's uh that's a good one. Fantatis. <laughs> I mean, dude, I was I was pumped about it. This this last week has been a good week, or last two weeks. Because I pulled that guy and I pulled that uh Pete Alonzo back there, auto. Within the last week, I think. Yeah, both of them. So that was awesome. Let's see. Uh blaster break of one box of update and one box of holiday and one box of chrome update if you can find it. Uh if not, it'll be another holiday. I went and got into that break. It's pretty cheap. Five dollars a spot. That's not bad at all. So if you guys have any interest in that, jump over to Coop's cards and check his out. Uh, I think he's gonna be doing that break Friday, is what he said he's gonna try to do. You and Urban with the Tatis and Otanis. Yeah, that. That Otani that that uh, Funkin pulled was sweet because that was number to five as well. I think was it a rookie card though? I thought it was a second year card or was it a rookie? I, I don't think it was a rookie. Um. So, anyways, yeah. Big Harv says he'll take two spots. So there you go, Coops. Guys, by the way, thank you so much for all the help you've you've given me and all the support that you've given me because I'm only two away from 300 as of this morning. My goodness, I've been growing like crazy, and uh, it's super fun because I never anticipated growing like this. I just thought, you know, I'd get on here and have some fun and show some cards, and hey, man, we're growing, and I'm loving it. Nice having uh, having this crew here. So check out my Mega Baseball Mixer number three. Mega Baseball Mixer number three is going to be on my site. Let me go ahead and pop the website in for you real quick. Just got back from lunch with the girls. Well, thanks for inviting me. Uh, you knew I was live, of course. Oh, I don't want a quick view of it. I want the, the whole Sheboygan. Baseball demos, it is a great community, man. It's a great, great community. Helped me a lot with all sorts of different things, you know. Thank you, Classic Cars. <laughs> Just got in there, beat me to it. <laughs> Appreciate that, Classic. So, yeah, uh, if you guys want to get into that break, that break is going to be a lot of hits because it's a Bowman HTA box. So, Bowman 2019 Chrome HTA. It's going to be guaranteed three autos. Um, thanks, Jason. I appreciate that. Yeah, everybody go make second fake accounts and sub again. No, I'm just playing. Don't. I'm kidding, YouTube. Don't cut me off for that. Um, Minor League Heritage uh, 2019 Hobby Box. And a... Uh, what was my other one? Oh, Topps uh, Triple Threads 2019 Hobby Box. So, I think that's guaranteed... Three, four, five. It's guaranteed six autos in that break. So, did I put you in the Friday break? I did not, Sue. Uh, do you want in? Go on my website and purchase like everybody else. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, I can put you in. How many spots do you want? Do I have an Arenado rookie? Yeah, I got a bunch of them, actually. 
Uh, I'd like to get uh, some more and some better graded ones, uh, but I just got a lot in that I ordered off of eBay, and I'm going through them to see which ones are gradable and which ones aren't, so I have quite a few. Sue wants three spots, okay. Save three spots for you, Sue. Uh, baseball Demo says, I'm a board gamer like Strat, but getting back into baseball cards. Demos, I love playing games too, like video games, board games, things like that. So uh, when it comes to uh, Saturday nights, I'm trying, or either Saturday nights or Sunday nights, because I'm not really sure what's working out best. Um, I'm going to stream on Steam. No, not Steam. Twitch. I'm going to stream on Twitch. And I'm going to be doing uh, some strategy games, Age of Empires 3 and um, Division 2. So, you know, it's just some other games, too, that aren't just strategy, but uh, try and get some strategy games. Is there one way I can avoid the Marlins Tigers? Last night in Urban's Funkin' got those teams back-to-back. -back. Man, that that is brutal. Is there a way that you can avoid it? So here's a question. I can take this break because I, I haven't sold any spots yet, and I kind of don't really want to sell spots until we decide on this. I can take it and make it a buy team break. That actually makes it easier for sorting, makes it easier for selling. I just have to do the breakdown of the financial breakdown of what, what each team is going to cost. Because obviously the Blue Jays are going to cost a little bit more than, uh, you know, the Rockies. So I think that would actually help me out a lot to do a team break like that where you can actually select your team. So, um, yeah, I, I understand classic cards, but I, you know, there's got to be a way. If I can, like, reduce the number of spots and just put 26 spots or whatever and combine a couple of teams that are, like, low pull teams, um, then maybe that would be the better way to do it and still keep it random, but just have some combined teams. So, at least that way you're not going to get stuck, you know, with completely uh, nothing. I don't like the draft teams. You know, the problem is everybody has to be here or you have to do it uh, via email where people draft first. And it's just a problem. So what's going on with the online poker game? Good question, JDLS. I'm glad you asked that. So uh, I have the poker app. Let's see. It's called... Mega Hit Poker. Mega Hit Poker is the app. Now, I'm setting up my social media today for Elkanon Breaks, and I'm going to start a Facebook account, and that's what I'm going to use on here, and I'll give you my username once that's done, and we can start collaborating. So that's going to be the best way to, to do our weekly poker game. I'd really like to do that, like, Thursday nights or Friday nights or, I don't know, some evening where we all have some time where we can sit down and play some poker together. It'd be fun. Um, and then what we can do is just do it like a tournament style where there's a $20 buy-in and we just PayPal whoever the winner is of the tournament, the money at the end. So you do a five, 10, 15, $20 buy-in. You can have all sorts of different ranges so that, uh, anybody can get in. It'd be a lot of fun. Now home games are legal in some sense because you can have, uh, you know, games that are under 20 bucks and they don't care about. So that's not a big, but if you get anything higher than that, you're going to have problems. Hate the Red Sox, Jason Madison. Oh, boy. Yeah. I don't hate any team. I just don't like when my team loses. And usually, I can get a little irritated at the team that beat mine. That's about the extent of my rage these days. I used to get really passionate about sports. Really passionate. And I'd get disappointed and upset and my team would lose and now i'm like eh, who cares you know it, especially when when you think about it this way the year we lost the broncos lost to uh the seahawks in the super bowl you remember that that was just that was terrible and this guy uh our center hiked the ball over peyton's head in the very first snap of the game and i knew okay it's over this whole thing is over so I was not a fan of the Seahawks, obviously, because they kicked our butts. We lost that. We just got blown out. But then I thought about all the friends I have that are Seahawks fans that don't know the feeling of a Super Bowl victory. I do know that. In fact, I know it three times now. They don't. That's, you know, I, I would hope that everybody can have that feeling that I had. So... 
anyways, I, so when I say I don't hate teams, I mean, obviously for the rivalry, I don't like, you know, teams in my division that are playing well or whatever, but I, really, I generally don't hate teams, you know, or hate, I hate players, you know, I can get, I can get mad at a personality pretty easily and that can turn me off to a team, but like there, yeah, the Raiders, Sue makes a good point. I mean, a lot of the Raiders fans here in my town were just bullies when I was younger. So I just never liked the Raiders because of that. It's not the Raiders fault. But they did have a lot of thugs back then growing up, and their influences weren't great, so, you know. I wasn't allowed to watch baseball for many years, doctor's orders. <laughs> I kind of did the same thing, man. After high school, I realized that I wasn't going to make uh, a professional baseball team. You know, it wasn't just, it just wasn't going to happen for me because I talked to a scout, a few scouts, but one of, one of the scouts told me, you're pretty good. But there's 10 kids down the street that are just as good as you. So how bad do you want it? And I was like, eh, I don't know. Not that bad, I guess. Uh, so I didn't pursue it after that. And I just couldn't watch baseball for years. So I didn't watch baseball from the time I uh, left high school, 2004, until 2007 when the Rockies won. So there's like three years where I was just like no baseball whatsoever. Um, but got back into it now. Elway got... <laughs> got you too. Yeah. Uh, sorry, two. Uh, he got us three, actually. He got us our first two, plus he brought in Manning, who got us our third one, and he was the president. So technically, Elway got us three. He's pretty much the reason why we have any Super Bowl victories. And people that are hard on Elway here in Denver and across the country need to remember that. I mean, this one guy got three Super Bowl victories for a team. That's pretty tough to do. Now, it wasn't one guy. I mean, obviously, it was a team effort, but Urban was, or uh, <laughs> Elway was highly responsible for all three of those victories. Win over the Panthers made up for it. Man, that was so much fun to watch. Oh, Cam Newton was so mad. And now look at him. He's nothing. He's nothing. That demoralized him. He hasn't come. He hasn't played well since, really. Now, I'm not a Raiders fan either. Still in the school line, waiting for your little girl. Wow. You have to go get your girl soon. Day is going good, friend. Right. Well, uh, yeah, guys. I'm I'm gonna have to step off here. I think because I'm gonna have to get back to organizing some cards, and I have a few more shipments to to send out today. So, um, I'm gonna do that. South Park does love John Elway. They love everything of Colorado, and that's why I love South Park, because I only live about two hours from there. Um, I can drive up there uh, this afternoon if I wanted to. But South Park, is there's nothing to do there. Very small town, nothing there. But uh, anyways, yeah, I'm going to head, guys. Um, remember, there is a new episode of South Park tonight, so check that out. Comedy Central. Shout out. Give me some love. Uh, Comedy Central, if you could. Send me a check or something. Anyways... South Park tonight and uh, Mega Baseball Bixer number three on Friday. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, yeah, South Park is a real place. Yeah. South Park, the, both Trey Parker and Matt Stone, the guys who created it, lived in Boulder and went to college in Boulder. And uh, yeah, I'll resend the money, Coops. I'll hook you up right after this. So uh, it is a real place. The farmers didn't really like when the show came on obviously because their town got all this publicity that was pretty negative at the time and so south park is more of a novelty town now the main town of fair play right next to it is kind of the bigger town but you can drive into to south park people still live there it's a town just like in the show very small like that so anyways yep see you guys uh thank you so much appreciate y'all hanging out this afternoon and uh we'll be on tomorrow and do it all again have a good one Peace.